Ah! Hey guys, this is Jordan here to bring you a video, a detailed guide on how I hit Trading Artisan 2. And this is my third time making the video, so I'm kind of frustrated. But this time I'm going to do it right, so I don't have to redo this. Uh, so we're going to go with the basics of leveling trading. So there's basically two different methods you can do. You can do rolling or you can do trash crates. Um, personally, how I did it was I did the trash crate method. So uh, if you're wanting a rolling video, this is not going to be a rolling video. This is just how I hit Artisan 2 and things that you're going to uh, want to know when leveling up trading. Um, so basically, let's get to it. Um, what is the difference between a uh, trash crate item and what is the difference between a money crate item? So I'm going to go to a uh, we'll go to a mineral workbench just so I can show you an example. Um, so basically, these uh, five items up here would be considered a trash crate item. So they're not going to give you much silver at all uh, compared to brass, bronze, steel, uh, giving you more money. Um, basically, there's a website which I'm going to list below um, showing you the difference. So this is with with logs. So palm timber giving you only 4,000 and balanos timber giving you 64,000. So that's the difference between a trash crate item and a money crate. So you get more money with money crates, you get less with uh, trash crates. Um, so a lot of people make trash crates when leveling trading. Uh, now we have a we have copper, we have iron, we have lead, we have tin, and we have zinc. So personally, out of these five, the best item to use for a trash crate would be lead. And the reason why lead is because you cannot make a money crate out of lead. Okay, so when leveling trading, personally, I would not use iron, I would not use copper, I wouldn't use tin, and I wouldn't use zinc. Even if you have like a hundred thousand or whatever, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, a million, um, I still would not use those items. Uh, you would want to use lead because you can't make a money crate item. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, now when it comes to lead, uh, which is what I used, personally, um, you could use pumpkins, you could use silver zellia. There's, there's many trash crate uh, items that you could use. Um, just in case if you wanted to pick up lead ore and start building up a bunch of lead ore so you don't have to spend silver later down the road, uh, you could. There's one at Quint Hill, uh, and then there's also another one at uh, Glish. So um, if, you, if you want to not spend as much money, you could put workers on there. Uh, but personally, I would just buy from the marketplace. Um, but it's up to you how you want to do it. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense when it comes to trash crate and money crate and the item that you want to use. Uh, same thing for, um, which my character isn't even doing anything. Oh well. Um, so if we go to timber, so I can show you a examples for timber so we have ash maple pine birch fir cedar white cedar arcacia okay these are going to be your trash crates palm timber and elder tree are also going to be uh yeah are also going to be considered trash crates um so Palm timber would also be a good choice because you can't make a money crate into palm timber. Um, so back to my lead ore and where I uh, leveled up trading. So you basically have a couple options. It's going to be one of these options right here. Um, basically, the farther away you are, the more money you're going to get and also the more XP you're going to get. Uh, personally, however, I went with the more workshops I could make the more the quicker I could get it done um, versus 
uh, and the most CP efficient. So uh, Calpheon, in my opinion, is the best trash crate method um, in my eyes just because there's so many workshops you can do. Um, so technically what I did was I had about eight workshops running, eight, lo eight extra lodging, so it is a decent amount of CP. You're definitely going to want around 280 uh, CP before you start thinking or before you start trying to attempt uh, leveling up trading. Um, the reason why is because uh, throughout that time uh, of you pushing your CP, uh, you're going to want your workers to start upgrading. So um, you're definitely going to want yellow and uh, orange workers. Uh, you just you want those those workers having blue workers and green workers is going to be inefficient uh, in the long run, and you're going to actually run out of materials if you don't have these artisan workers uh, on your on your uh, nodes. So. Um, Personally, just wait till you're around 250 plus, 280 plus, uh, if you're wanting to do it this exact way. Uh, so, mineral workbench, uh, I had about eight set up, and I did lead ore. So, I went to the marketplace, I bought a bunch of lead ore. Um, you're going to need roughly anywhere from 22k to 27k. And it's going to be dependent on how much life XP you have when turning in your crates. So we'll just go over some of the items that you're going to want to make sure that whatever character you are trading on has. Um, suit T. Okay, you can just buy it from the market or you can make it yourself. Uh, it gives life XP plus 8%. You're also going to want the trader's outfit. Uh, highly suggest getting this to at least... Um, Okay, minimum you need at least plus one. You cannot uh, just buy the base base one. Uh, personally, I think my character has a plus three. So as you can see, trade XP plus 20%, trade plus 15%, trade plus 10%. That's why I say 22K to 27K, because basically the higher uh, XP that you have, the, the less that you need. Um, same thing with... Uh, pets, so you can get life XP from pets, uh, which also will help. Uh, do I have any? Okay, so none of my pets have trading on it. Uh, so just I would get 9% extra from that. Uh, we also have GM Blessings, uh, which normally, or at least on NA, we receive whenever uh, the servers are messed up. I just keep them for... Um, for life xp because they stack um, you also can use the perfume of swiftness um, so perfume of swiftness gives you 20 percent life xp um, and then we also have the elixir of um, time so if we go to time flowing time life xp plus 15 percent same thing with the elixir of time, life XP plus 10%. Uh, so hopefully, uh, but basically before you turn in your crates, you need to make sure that your character has all of that. Um, another thing that you need to make sure is that you have enough CP that you can connect all the way to uh, Arihaza. Arihaza is going to be where you turn in trash crates, okay? Money crates, you're going to turn in Valencia, but we'll get into money crates later. So trash crates will be Arihaza. You got to make sure that you are connected. So personally, how I connected from Calpheon is because I already have all these nodes that are automatically set up for me. Um, I will connect uh, Brady Fortress uh, to here because basically it'll be connected from Calpheon where I made my trash crate items. Um, I will just put a point here and then I will be connected all the way to Hydel. And then uh, from Castle Ruins to Tariff, I just have to put another point into Soldier's Grave, put another point into Sula Highland so I can connect all the way to Alta Nova. And then this is just the way I go. I go from Alta Nova to Rock Post to Veterans, uh, up to Ruin City, uh, Iris, Kamach to 
Anticondo to Anticondo Inner, uh, Rakshan to Valencia, and then I connect uh, Ariha Palm Forest to Arihaza. So that's how I connect. Um, some people will go from Port uh, Euphoria around the ocean or Velia through the ocean. It's up to you how you want to connect. And, you know, you're like, well, how do you have that much CP? Well, basically, all my extra CP um, is in farms. So um, this is why I highly suggest around 280 plus Basically, I would wait till at least 300 CP so you can keep all these log and iron and stuff nodes. Um, but I will just uninvest my farms, which will give me roughly around 50 CP so I can connect all the way over to Valencia. Um, or to Arihaza. Um, you're also going to need, when leveling up, you're going to need a lot of that material so a lot of blackstone powder so 22,000 blackstone powder up to 27,000 blackstone powder again determined by the life xp that you have uh, with your character um so a lot of crushing the gems um, a lot uh also um You'll need a lot of CP for the workshops and lodging. You can have up to eight running. I would suggest getting either humans or uh, giants to work on your trash crates so then you don't have to feed them as often. So basically, say you get all the blackstone powder, you have like 25k blackstone powder, you get all the ore, say you have 250,000 lead ore, and you're just ready to start pumping it, pumping it out. Um, mm -hmm. All you have to do is make sure that you have beer, so feeding all your workers. Uh, every like every hour to every two hours depending on what type of workers you get uh, if you get goblins you're gonna have to do it every hour if you get humans it'll be like around every every uh like two hours and then same thing giants every three hours um so yeah uh, that's basically the basics of how i leveled up trading um so connected so now we're going to go to, all right, you hit Artisan 2 trading, finally. Um, or no, we, we forgot a step. Okay, so then once you get there, uh, you're going to have to stack your horse in. So since I stacked my horse in Calpheon, uh, I was able to stack around 7,150 or something like that. Um, that's the max amount of ore that you can stack. If you do pumpkins and silver or silver azalea, you can do up to like 11k or something like that, somewhere around there. Uh, you can do more of that material, but uh, more than often it's sold out on the market. Maybe it's not uh, in other regions. Um, so you'll want to stack your horse, and then you want to make your way all the way to Arihaza. Now, personally, I go through the desert so that I don't have to worry about my horse dying to mobs. Uh, things you're also going to want to know is that when you turn in crates, you should do it on an alt with that is below level 50 and the reason why is because other players will attack you and kill your horse so if they kill your horse you lose like 90 percent of your materials you don't want that to happen because then all your effort of just letting your workers and feeding them and all the materials that maybe you have bought uh, will go to waste um, and you'll be very very pissed off uh, you also do not want to afk so um, do not just click all right, do not just click uh, sand grain and then AFK and go like do something else. Reason why is because throughout the map there's these little uh, red things, uh, basically bandits that are in the road and your horse can get caught on them. So uh, you have to make sure you kind of actively have to uh, trade, which, which stinks. Uh, I wish you could just AFK, but you can't. Um, so you have to like watch your character move slowly which which you know sucks uh, and uh, things you're going to want to know is it's going to take hours uh, it's going to take like a minimum of like at least five hours um, to bring all over all your trash crates on your horse and then come back to Cal calfion or or if you're doing trent um, and then you're going to have to restack and then make your way back. So trading is a long process, um, 
but it'll be worth it once you hit Art 2. Um, some of the benefits of hitting Artisan 2, uh, a lot of the materials, so if I go to like, we'll just go to Heidel for instance, whenever I gather um, materials, so blood or uh, meats, I get these things called Well Polished Stone Crystallized Blood, um, which are basically going to be worth even more silver when I turn them in. Um, basically I will wait until I have gathered so much that uh, I could turn these in. So like these are roughly worth like 25 to like 30 mil right now. Um, technically because I have the Artisan 2 buff. Same thing with pirates. So the pirate coins. Uh, a lot of people grind pirates uh, if they want um, or if they have Artisan 2 because of the coin drops. Uh, you can just stack coins and then do a turn in so connecting you'll have to connect from kuwait all the way over to um, valencia for that um, also um, yeah so that's uh, those are different items for that you can benefit from artisan 2 trading um, so now I'm going to go to where you start the quest. So say you hit Artisan 2, you're finally done. You're like, yeah, some Artisan 2 trading. All right, now it's time to start the quest. Where do you start the quest at? The quest is right here in Ib Ibalab. I think it's how you say it. <laughs> Oasis. Um, you're going to talk to a person. I don't have a person there. There are guides on where to level uh, or where to get the quest line. Now, they are kind of outdated and uh, people will say, for Master 2, just know that you you don't need Master 2, you just need Artisan 2 now. Um, it's the same quest line though. Um, however, it's only the quest here that you have to do. Um, and then you once you are finished, you'll get a one hour buff. Um, I believe it's right there, or it might be turning in the final quest here in Sandgrain. Uh, but I know uh, once you're done, you're going to get this hour buff. You have to wait for it to run out. And then once it runs out, this is going to be the place where you get the desert buff for your uh, Artisan 2 trade whenever you decide to turn in your crates. Um, so you will come here. Make sure your character has full energy. You will talk to them. Um, they will give you a buff for one hour. Then you'll make your way over here. You want to make sure that all your crates are already on horses uh, in the stable. So then you can just take take out the horse, take all the crates, put it on your character, and then make your way to uh, the trade manager and just repeat. You'll then turn in 100 at a time. Okay. So in leveling trading, I don't know if I mentioned that or not, uh, you please turn in 100 at a time. That is a big thing. 100 at a time, make sure you have all your life XP uh, running. Um, so, so yeah. And then make sure your character is level 55 uh, when turning in the money crates. Uh, he has to be level 55. You can't uh, get the trade buff under level 55 because you can't start the quest until level 55. Uh, so when transferring crates, again, make sure you use a like level 49 character uh, or less, depending on what whatever character you have the trading on. And this is going to be where for your money crates. Um, so yeah, some things, just things that I'm using for money crates. So I do pretty much steel, bronze, brass. Uh, I do Calpheon and I do Balanos. And then I also do Sunflower Crates with my farms. Um, but I personally just stopped doing Sunflower, so I'm going to be doing Olives. Uh, so if you, yeah. Um, yep. So hopefully that helps you guys out uh, with trading and things that you need to know. Uh, just a quick overlap. I made them in Calpheon, had about eight workshops, fed them, uh, make sure you have blackstone powder and whatever trash crate item you're wanting to do. Then when you do decide you want to trade in, make sure you are connected fully all the way to Arihaza. Um, your horse can only stack 7,000 if it comes to ore or, or uh, timber, if it's uh, silver, zelia, or pumpkins, 
um, you can then do, uh, I believe it's around 11,000. Um, connected, make sure you have all your life XP buffs, and yeah. So hopefully that, that helps you guys out. If you guys got confused or anything, leave a comment below. Um, hopefully that was kind of a detailed, I know it was kind of a long video, but hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, again, need help, leave a comment. Leave a like, subscribe if I did help you out uh, with, with the trash crate method and how I got to Artisan 2 trading. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Peace.